What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Death Note. I'm going to be trying to finish up this series between today and Wednesday. Um, as you guys know, I'm trying to churn out as much as I can before I move because when I move, I don't know. It's supposed to be internet. It's supposed to be set up and ready um, at the place where I'm moving to, but it's not a hundred percent because we know our ISPs can be, they can take forever to do stuff. Um, and I have to be out of here in the next like six days. So before I take my setup down, I am here trying to get this stuff out to you guys. Um, as much as I can content wise as in reactions, um, um, shows that I've been kind of like not putting up, um, example, um, I'm going to be doing The Walking Dead. I'm not going to start Peaky Blinders until I move. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to um, start any new seasons right now of any shows that, you know, that their season just ended. Like, I just finished Peaky Blinders, so I'm not going to jump into that. But, yeah, so what we know have been going on in Death Note, really, is L is dead. At least that's how the episode left off, and... Rem is also dead um, because basically she was forced, right? She was forced to sacrifice herself so Misa can live. So Misa could keep on living, basically forced by Light. So, Vi so Light is just, he's just an evil dude, man. He's just an evil dude and he'll do whatever it takes. I wonder what he's going to do to um to get rid of Misa because he has no use for her. he uses her there's no love there it's all you know abusing his power that he has you know because she loves him he's abusing that power over her so um so from what you guys are saying in the comments you guys are saying that a lot of you know a lot of you guys stop watching the anime right here um, at episode 25, you didn't watch any more episodes or you think um, the next 11 episodes really sucked because L died. So, you know, I'm kind of hoping that you guys are trolling me, to be honest, because I don't know. I really don't feel like L is dead. You get what I'm saying? Like, I don't... It just, at this point in the story, or maybe that's the reason why it's only 11 episodes left, because because nobody's there. He's supposed to be the rival. He's supposed to be the counterpart that balances out this anime. You know what I'm saying? Is there going to be a new villain? You know what I'm saying? Is there going to, well, not really a villain, but a new counterpart to, to what Light is doing? Because, you know what I mean? So... Let's see how things play out, man. Let's go watch these episodes. I'm going to try to do at least um, a probably like three or four today. And then we'll try to wrap up over the next two days and wrap up this series so we can move on to the other ones. If you guys are out there concerned about Garen Lagan, I am watching Garen Lagan. I just want to upload everything at once at this point for it. I don't because I'm trying to binge it. Right, I'm trying to binge it, but I am recording. Um, but I just haven't had time to release what I got yet. I want to upload it as a huge super reaction and just get it out of out of the way. It's only one season, so if you guys are watching this, don't worry. Garen Lagan is still on point. I'm just watching it. It's just yet to be get there. Um, it, I'm just yet to be uploaded. So thank you guys for watching as always, and I will see you guys after for the review. Oh man, this one was unbelievably. Uh, the, the the thing about these reactions after episode twenty five, like I just did four episodes twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, and twenty nine, right? But the thing about these, as you can see, the quality is not so great. Um, the um the subtitles has changed a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's because of where I'm watching it, 
because um, Crunchyroll doesn't have Death Note. Um, so I have to go to, you know, through other routes to watch Death Note, right? They have it on, I think they have it on Viz, but there's, um, there's, um, ads in between, um, you know, so because I record straight, I don't want to have to have the ads in there, you know, it interrupts the vibe and stuff like that. So, um, and I'm not paying for another subscription service just to watch one anime okay i'm already subscribed to crunchyroll not doing it <laughs> this that's too much i'm subscribed to way too many things these days anyways um so let's talk about these four episodes man i said before i think it was during i think it was after episode 27 i was saying that there's definitely the lore um not the lore but the allure of the anime definitely dropped it you could feel it in the atmosphere. I don't know. I don't think the music changed or anything like that. But the interest, it just kind of dropped. I don't know if that's a psychological thing because L died. I don't know if that's it because at this moment, I don't see a worthy adversary. You get what I'm saying? So you feel kind of let down. And that's why I said I understand from both sides. You know, some people say it's okay. You know, some people say they hated it. You know what I'm saying? The um, Like the second half. The, the the um the 11 episodes that happen after episode 25 so a lot of people say so me I, me just watching four of them i can clearly see why some people wouldn't like it as i said i'm enjoying the story right now as i said it's not it's not that top notch back and forth between two characters anymore it's more of a continuation of what as you know as a result of of um of l's death so we got introduced to two new characters um that's supposedly supposed to be l's successors right which is um mellow and near okay so the situation is as erupted it has erupted into something even more and now um light's dad is dead okay from making the deal um, to trying to to um, figure out to get back the notebook because of the exchange um, because they captured um, his daughter and stuff like that so throughout all of these four episodes what's really happening is pretty it, it, it's cool it's cool as I said it's not the okie doke that we've come to expect it's more of like showing off light's genius and what are the results of him making these choices now you know what i'm saying with the resulting um the plan wasn't for his dad to die you know what i'm saying but situations happen you know what i'm saying as a result um i'm kind of surprised that he never he never really object to the fact to to his dad doing the shinigami eyes you know what i'm saying like i mean he was even considering killing his sister so i but he couldn't do it he couldn't do it um, he, he, I mean, it's not the, f I mean, he's killed innocents before he's killed people who, you know, just would stand in his way. You know what I'm saying? Example, Ray Pember. So it's not beyond him to go that far. So, um, so I wasn't surprised at the fact that he was considering killing his old sister to, you know, protect his identity, whatever the situation is. So, um, they captured the director, so he had to kill the director. So he killed the director, um, hoping that they would just forget about the whole thing and just move on. But he didn't know that it was Mello that was trying to get the Death Note, right? So he figured out all of that stuff, and, and, and then it moved on to getting more complicated with Nier. Um, once they got, once the exchange happened, um, it seems like, once the exchange happened like that was a part that i was confused that i was confused about. i'm probably gonna have to go back and watch that episode where all the um where they kill most of the fbi agents like what did Melo? how did he know about the fbi agents i i, I don't know if it's I, i'm not sure who killed them you get what i'm saying like is it light that killed them or was it Melo that killed them in in my opinion you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like 
it must have been light that killed them because he was the only one that kind of knew their real identity because remember they were looking them up because of um because they found out one of them real name the one that that got in contact with them you know what i'm saying with um light's dad and what you know that confronted him and stuff like that um and then they found out what his real name was because he was using an alias of course because you know kira and all that stuff so it must have been light that took out the fbi agents or most of them that was in the office i thought at that point i thought near that they that he would have taken out near because at that point i was thinking oh oh um it's mellow it was, um, you know what i'm saying like but at that point why wouldn't I was thinking maybe Melo would take out, um, Melo would be taking out, um, near, but no, but I could be wrong. As, as I said, I'm thinking that it, that it's light or maybe I missed something of who it could have been. It could have been Melo too, but how would he know the, the, um, the um i don't see I, I just don't see mellow as that type of dude I, I even though he was he's hanging out with mobsters and stuff like that like i don't see him killing a bunch of fbi agents you know what i'm saying i think that he's just um as as near describes it you know they're playing a, they're playing a game to see who will catch kira first right they've always competed so him killing FBI agents just doesn't seem like his MO. I think he's just with mobsters just because he's super smart and he can get them to do whatever he wants them to do in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Also, convincing them that if we get our hands on this death note, we can possibly do anything we want without repercussion. So, it's not hard to... Because everybody should know by now the existence of... Not of the death note, but of Kira. So him coming in and be like, hey, there's a notebook, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Because that wasn't necessarily public information. So him coming in and saying, hey, there's a, there's, this is how they kill. We know about this. I know about this. This is how they kill. And I'm going to try to get this get um, this notebook so, so that we can rule the world, whatever. So that's how I'm picturing it. So things escalated. You know, to the point where they captured the um the daughter, um Yagami's daughter, and they had to make the exchange. Blah blah blah. They got their hands on the notebook. Um, it's so it's it's still as I said, it's still intricate. But now there's no worthy adversary. I feel like Melo is not as smart as L. They're not. They're second fiddle. Him and him, Mello and Nier is nowhere close to the intelligence of L. Nowhere close. They don't, they don't give off that vibe. I don't see them. I haven't seen them do anything yet that would even remotely um, let me consider them being as smart as L. So that's just my opinion on it, man. Um, so how will light react now that his dad has died as a result of this whole shenanigans you know what i'm saying how will he react now is he going to start making mistakes um is he going to be super emotional he's obviously super upset about this to um you know even in the in in, in even to the point where he's mistreating me sons and stuff like that like you know so i don't know how this how anything gonna go down like he's 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 he can get tense but even in his tense situation he's usually making very calm decisions like he makes calm decisions things that play out to be the best and that's what i'm saying there's no counterpart to him anymore there's nobody as smart as him going up against him anymore so you're not like you know what i'm saying it, it, it's just i mean i mean you guys get what i'm trying to say right it's just i can understand why there's a certain you know a certain amount of people that like the second half and some people not liking it i can definitely understand that um as i said just looking at it from an objective point of view as i said i'm gonna do all 37 episodes no doubt about it and have an opinion for myself right now still enjoying the story um but you know what i'm saying but it, it it it's yet to be seen if it if it still holds up without this character 
um that died so far these four episodes are really good um and as i said the question now is how will he react right how will he react to all of this so let's you know next reaction definitely gonna try to get some more episodes out tomorrow i want to finish up death note by wednesday um so we got what i think seven episodes to go um no seven eight right eight episodes to go um because we did four today yeah so we have eight episodes to go so we'll see how things turn out um i don't i don't, I don't even know i think we end at 29 or 30 i don't i I'm not sure. I think we did 20, 26, 27, 28, 29. I think, I think we did four episodes. Yeah. So I'll definitely see you guys on the next one. Of course. Thank you guys for tuning in. Always remember to like and subscribe if you're new. And also leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think of these four episodes. And don't start a rant about how much you don't like it. Just give me a comment about these four episodes about the story. Okay, I don't want to hear it anymore about how much you guys don't like the second half. If you don't like it, don't watch it with me. Okay, simple, plain, and as simple as that. Okay, so thank you guys for watching as always. It's your boy Terry by Reacts and peace.